broke a plastic here on this central machinery mill, uh, and they were a dollar a piece on replacement from Grizzly, so ordered 10 of them because I figured I'll probably be breaking more in the future. I'll just start by removing the top plate. All right, so these are all uh, loose. They could come out. I think I'm just gonna lift this up though. Oh my goodness, yes, that gear has is end of life. Just gonna wipe everything down. I don't want there to be any uh, shavings of you know aluminum or something that could get in between the teeth and the gear. And we're putting some more grease on too, so we'll make sure all the original is cleaned up. I'm just going to unscrew the, uh, the screw that keeps the uh, plastic gear on. So if you look, uh, there's a little key hole there, and the purpose of that is to hold uh, this, let me see if I can, this guy, and There we go. So that just fits in there like that, or something like that. Uh, and then that provides a way to lock the plastic gear. Here's the new gear. So the gear does go in a certain way. You can see it has a little bit of a raised, uh, maybe a bushing uh, here on this side. And the reason is so that that can set on the bearing and not have the plastic touching the surface of the, the red steel. So just orient it with the key and you may be able to get it started with your hand and then just tap it on. Now that it's uh, down all the way, the screw can be reinstalled and it should just be kind of finger tight to apply pressure to keep the gear pressed on. Now there's a lot of types of grease. This lithium grease is very common uh, and I have you know, removed a lot of it so that usually would be my first choice except that this is plastic and uh, petroleum or oil-based greases will deteriorate plastic. So because of that, you have to use a silicone-based grease. This is made specifically for rubber or plastic parts um, because it doesn't have any petroleum in it and it won't deteriorate the, the rubber plastic. Number two screwdriver fits uh, Phillips. Phillips two fits well. And it looks like I may have to hold the uh, collet holder while I tighten so I can apply pressure in the opposite direction. Get a little bit of this silicone grease on that gear. As much as it is a pain replacing, you know, plastic gears that break, it is a smaller machine. You know, not intended to be used with as much, uh, you know, power. So. And actually, it is kind of nice that there is a pretty easy to access, um, you know, like a fail safe so that this will always, the plastic gear will always break before one of the metal gears. That feels good. It's so, uh, M. M5 or a five millimeter um, size. And this one has a ball on the end, which is really nice whenever you have to work with um, screws that they've got up, like this one's up close to the motor. You can still keep you know, a continuous rotation and still get out of the way of the motor. 
which is pretty nice. I'm going to tighten it, uh, tight, tighten the screws across from each other, kind of like how you do on a, a car tire. Um, it just it, it, it's a common practice to that that helps the part uh, seat properly. Of course, make sure it's unplugged when you're working on it. Uh, now we can test it. All right, that's it.